Holy crap. Sima Yue. You're insane, bro. Dude, he's gonna take so long for, for him to die. 31k. Alright, uh, he's like halfway. Wait, why is it? I don't understand what the hell's going on, to be honest. Dude. <laughs> Watching this is crazy. Dude, he's not dying. He's at freaking 97%. Melee evasion. I, I feel like he's gonna kill my whole army. Dude, this is freaking stupid OP, dude. Are you serious right now? What is up, Total War fans? Sweetie here today, back with another video playing the Somalian campaign on Legendary Difficulty in Total War Three Kingdoms, the Eight Princes DLC. So, just a quick, quick recap from what happened in the last episode. Um, we were able to finally begin our invasion on Sima U.S. territory and was able to capture uh, both the Yang Zhao farmland as well as the Yang Zhao livestock. And we're making our moves into Peng Chang in order to take over more of his lands. Um, however, we do have Sima Yue himself leading his army, a full banner army, but 50% health, leading his army around the corner to try to flank us in our capital city of Rune 9. So we took our secondary army led by Dai Ying back towards Rune 9 in order to defend against it. And he has kind of changed directions and I think he's trying to move towards Yang Zhao. So I think what we're going to do this episode is to try to chase him down as quickly as possible and just finish him off and hopefully kill them. Um, we also, interestingly, have some, one of the Sima Yue's armies coming down from the south. I guess somehow he got an army all the way down here to capture uh, this territory in, Quan G in Kwai Ji. So he's bringing like a really small, pretty weak army down from here in order to, I guess, defend against my uh, my transgressions against his territory. And we also have Sima Liang leading the main charge into Pain Chain. The only downside for this is that we ha we are losing military supplies pretty quickly uh minus 40 per turn and we only have 95 left so pretty much we can we, we, we only <laughs> well actually no it's minus 24 per turn so we only have about four turns before we lose our military supplies to start taking attrition and it's going to take a lot more than four turns to see Zhao Pain Chang so I, I would need to attack you or at least have him rally Sally out but that's going to be pretty difficult so I actually might need a secondary army um, well, at least siege it for three turns or so in order for um, in an attack on the last turn, hopefully to be able to get it down enough to where I can easily win this battle. I know he has another army somewhere right here that's about half banner health, so it's going to be somewhat difficult. And this garrison is, you know, it's pretty weak to be honest, but still. So, so for this episode, we're definitely going to try to resolve some of the threats coming in from really all directions, and hopefully finish Sima Yue in his defense against my invasion so let's go ahead and do that so first let's check out um the diplomacy and see who actually wants to be our vassal oh, so much she's pretty close so let's oh we can definitely get this for sure but that's what this is used for 9.1 so let's give him some food we have tons of food 22 food to be exact uh let's give him like two to start off with to see what happens so so one gives me 1.5 and then and any additional after that only gives me 0.5 so let's do that and can give you more ancillaries yeah let's i'm gonna give you the clay warrior maybe this one as well 1.6 1 1.1 nice 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 um i'll make you some payments how many gold do you have well, 504 I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough oh no it's, it should be good all right 445 450 try a bit lower than 450 four, four, actually speaking of that let's just give him more more yeah just give him more, more of this so i don't need to give him that much money so, <laughs> 22 okay so 22 gold plus three food which is not much at all um 
Yeah, let's let's get our let's get Smashi to be our uh, new vassal. Welcome to the vassalization, Smashi. Okay, so Zhang Lu wants non-aggression pact with us now. Let's see how much you're willing to pay us. Not enough. Smart Jin. Are you willing to pay us yet? Nope. Still won't pay us. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So let's go chase down. I'm actually going to do Force March because I think it will be a lot easier to chase down with Force March. There's no way he's going to be able to beat me even if I have Force March off. So, so let's do that. Let's chase his ass down. He has Force March as well. So we, can, so we can get right up close to him. And if he attacks Yang Zhao, even if we lose it, we can easily kill him the next turn. So that's a pretty good strategy. Honestly, I don't I don't think I'm gonna worry about this group coming up. I'm just I'm just going to attack Pain Chain. And uh hopefully that will work out. So let's go siege out the city. Super high because he has all of this, but this army is pretty weak just because of the fact that it's mostly just one general who is pretty easy to defeat if I just challenge him with Sima Liang. So let's just continue the siege. How many turns? Uh, how many turns is this siege? I don't even know. I don't remember where to look at it. Anyways, let's just start building some of these things. So let's siege this out and see if he sallies out with this army. If he does, that'll make our lives a lot easier, to be honest. So if he sallies out, that shouldn't be a problem. His army is pretty weak anyways to begin with. And hopefully he doesn't have another army just lying around here somewhere. I really hope so. Uh, anyway, so let's uh, take a look to see what we have again. Okay, so I think at this point, we should be good to go to uh, the next turn and see what Samaria finally does to prevent all of this from happening. Well, sign peace with us. <laughs> nope, you're scared, aren't you? You're scared. Yeah, he's definitely not planning on attacking because I, I think he knows he's gonna lose. So I think he's gonna retreat and then hopefully gather up his his uh, resources and start attacking me from that point on. We'll see what happens though. Ooh, somebody didn't actually move, but he entrenched in there. This still should be pretty easy. Small will inside a peace treaty gym empire. Spirit alignment or might alignment. Focus cooperation plus 20 prestige plus minus 10 revenue upkeep. Nice, nice. Uh, minus 10 diplomatic, but for 15 turns, that's pretty significant. Spirit in favor. Ooh, this is actually really good. Yeah, let's do this. We want spirit alignment anyway, so this is perfect. Seek reconciliation. Or seek conciliation, sorry. Okay. So Sima Yue. He's definitely going down here. Even though even if he has an entrenchment, I have trebuchets. So this is gonna be a pretty easy, pretty easy battle. We'll definitely save that for the real fun. So let's see here. Uh still minus 24 per turn. So we definitely have three, three turns left. Siege this out. Let's see, what's uh do we need can we I might just delegate this to be honest. Um just to make sure that I'm not gonna get ambushed by an army coming from this side. I don't think he will ambush me. I think he's trying to retreat back to this territory in order to gather up his army. So I might just siege it out for a couple more turns, but I'm definitely gonna do this battle right here. Up, oh, he retreated. Oh, yes, this is going to be a fun, fun battle. Against Sima Yue with extremely, extremely low HP for these generals. Um, and very, very poor units, especially compared to the units that I have. Let's fight this out. This should be pretty fun. All right, let's uh, fight this legendary battle with the Sima Yue army. Shield wall. Get my <clears throat> get my side defenders. Ooh, 
right like like so here as well like so a bit more back actually like so awesome awesome perfect perfect all right my archers right behind my main front line units uh trebuchets fire fire uh, fire shot flaming shots right here um get my right flank with my general right here the left flank over here strategist right here get you right in the middle of all the action yep like so okay so let's get this started uh select my trebuchets make sure to aim directly at the archer group damn i have a shit ton of archers holy crap and let's see how this works out hopefully the, the trebuchets will be able to do some good damage Ooh. damn that's a nice hit that was a nice hit that was a super nice hit all right i'm gonna aim for this one damn that, what the hell was that that was super weak bro oh that's gonna be a nice direct hit nice All right, time to get my cavalry out. I think I'm going to let my archers on this side focus on the cavalry and then have the, these guys focus on their archers. Actually, I'm going to have you guys focus on these guys. Yep. All right, you guys aim for this group. So you guys need to watch out for all the generals coming through. But I'll let you guys charge these guys. Alright. Definitely need to watch out for all the infantry units coming in to my cavalry. Let's aim for Sima Yue. But they're definitely trying to flank me on this side. Alright, yeah, yeah, there's no point again if I that. Yep, charging these guys. Definitely gonna do tons of damage because they weren't braced. Yep, these guys weren't really braced either. It's gonna be a good amount of damage being done here. Okay. You guys come back and start attacking this side. Try to route as many. Actually, you guys can do this. Princess Pei. Oh, so one of his. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna have you chase down some units here. 27, 23, 23. Yeah. Yeah, definitely need to pull him back. I don't think he can beat. Yep, except. Yeah, you definitely. Uh, why is he full? 
Holy shit. Yeah, she needs to run away. Dude, Sima Yue is fucking powerful, man. Damn. Sima Yue freaking destroyed him. Jesus. Holy crap. Alright, let's see. Let's see how this duel is going to pan out. Hopefully it's not going to be that bad. I think Smiley is going to win. I might have to make her run away, to be honest. Yeah. You're, you're definitely running away. There's no way you're going to beat Smiley in battle. <laughs> and Smiley has full HP now. Fuck. Dao sword guards. Yeah, one Dao sword guards left. So I think... Cause somebody here is gonna try to come in. Five. Stop firing. Let's see what Samaya uh, is. Samaya is right here. He has how many? 97% melee evasion. What the f The fuck? 147%? How is that even fucking physically possible? Yeah, Samaya is gonna freaking wreck everybody. Holy shit, 97, 97% melee evasion. That's freaking insane, yo. And look how, look how much damage he's doing to the Imperial Guards. <laughs> I might actually need to get everyone, all my, all my melee to start attacking. Dude, he's doing so much damage. I'm barely doing any damage to him. Dude, that's freaking insane. He's so strong. I might lose like half my army just fighting him. Alright, I definitely need her to do some uh, increased cooldown of ability so he doesn't use them. Yep, just stay, just chill right there. Holy crap, Sima Yue. You're insane, bro. Dude, he's gonna take so long for, for him to die. 31k. Oh, uh, he's like halfway. Wait, why is it? I don't understand what the hell's going on, to be honest. Dude. <laughs> Watching this is crazy. Dude, he's not dying because that's freaking 97% melee vision. I, I feel like he's gonna kill my whole army. Dude, this is freaking a stupid OP, dude. Are you serious right now? Like, he's literally gonna kill my whole army. Look how much damage he's doing to everybody. I want to speed this up. Hopefully he can die soon before he really destroys my whole army. Dude, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Dude, CA, can you please fix this? This is stupid. There's no way a single dude like him can kill that many people. I might even need to play the Sima Yue campaign just because of this. Dude, this guy's freaking crazy. He's nuts, dude. His abilities. He's like halfway and he killed like almost like half my army by himself. Holy shit. I'm so lucky I didn't go against him when he was full HP. I would literally have been wrecked if I went against him at full HP. Like, how, like all this Imperial Guard is getting completely wrecked by him. Especially without her to kind of decrease his ability cooldowns, he would have just freaking literally wrecked everything. 
Holy shit. My guys are feeling the freaking pain right now. Feeling the freaking pain. Hardcore, dude. Alright, Sumayu, so yeah, it's time for you to die so you can stop killing literally every single one of my units. Jesus, 4.5k left. 4.3. Oh, 2.7. I didn't get my cavalry in there too. Dude, he literally slaughtered all my my entire army. Oh my god. Let's see how, how many people he killed. 1,172. Literally just in that circle. He killed 1,170. He's like the freaking Lu Bu of uh, A Princess, I swear. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Somalia is way too strong. Nice, I got his sword too. Income replenishment, I'm gonna go for the replenishment. Nice. Ancient silver sword enables unbreakable plus 10 satisfaction. Damn. What does she have right now? Plus 9 expertise or plus 18 authority. Melee attack rate. I think I might actually give it to her because she has pretty high evasion to be honest and good resolve. Yeah, I'm going to equip it on her. Now she has 38%. She has this badass freaking sword. Anyone here use it? Nope, no one here can use it. Okay, you definitely needs to get replenished up. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. This is my year. Way too strong, way too strong. Okay, so back to this. I think I'm going to siege it out for one more turn. Invoke some council, build a building and settlement administration. Okay. Yeah, definitely go ahead and siege that out. And see what happens with them. Almost getting to the next domain, uh, next jurisdiction, substantial. So for this, will be 75 prestige plus 10% capture enemy officers plus 100% income family estates and plus two replenishment. That's pretty nice. Um, and I can get 12 different regions. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then most likely once I get over here is going to be seven, and then eight pin chain. So. Yeah, so let's go to the next turn and see what's going to happen. Yep, he's definitely going towards that army. That, the livestock farm. And he, she's coming up as well, so I need to be careful here. So what's this? Is that a Jin Empire? Check it out. Okay, so my Jin signed a peace treaty to be on being sent a peace treaty. Noble birth. Li Yu, Dual One Shi. Actual development. Mil yes, military logistics. Finally got that. Population minus 10 for Peng Chang. Nice, nice. Buildings, communal workshop, Runan. So I can definitely level up to this one. So I'm probably going to do that, to be honest. Minus 10 corruption. Is there a lot of corruption here right now? No, still 0% corruption. So I can either do, we'll do one more of these or level up the city. I think I'm going to level up the city, to be honest. Yeah, let's level up the city to a large city. Let's do that. Um, for this guy, I think I'm going to use him to actually defend against the various armies coming down. Can you get to livestock farm?
So livestock farm is about to upgrade. So I think I'm going to fast track this so I can get the army right away. Um, get this as well. So now this one should have a pretty... Actually, no, no, it's pretty shitty. <laughs> um, yeah, I need, I, need, I need this replenishment. He wanted to replenish his army a bit more full. Let's see. Nice, nice, Liu Qi. So he's administrator of Rune 9. And he's not really in any battle, so let's try to do something that's good for administrative purposes. 5 plus 5 noble support, that's good. Uh, resolve, don't really need that. Plus 1 starting rank, that one's pretty good. Yeah, he's not really going to be doing a lot of... We're going to be doing a lot of attacking, so I don't think we need this. We can definitely go for... With plus five noble support. So let's go ahead and do that for Runan. Runan should have pretty, some pretty amazing noble support. So I definitely start doing stuff like, um, I think they'll decrease noble support. Anyways, so he has. Okay, so he can definitely still siege this a bit more. Let's see what we want to get here. Extra experience, food production. Don't really need that. Uh, plus ten replenishment for garrisons. That's actually pretty useful. Construction cost for agriculture. That's very useful, actually. Uh, plus one available administrator. Plus one available assignments. Uh, minus five corruption. Plus ten percent commerce. I'm gonna need that. But this one is pretty good. I but I think what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna go for this one right here. The plus ten replenishment for garrisons. And then plus 20, minus 20 construction from agriculture. So let's go ahead and do that. And we just recently researched this one. So now we have a bunch of, a bunch of ammunition now and also military supplies. Which is perfect. Okay. Let's see. Sign any peace treaties. Non aggression pact with Sima Jong. Military access with Sima Wei. You can, are you willing to pay me any money for this military access? Nope. Sima Jen, what about you? Nope, still not willing to pay me. Okay, non aggression pact. Nah. What is, which army is this? Ruan, Ruan Shen. And this is Sima Yen. Okay. So I think we're pretty good here. Cao Huan is not really being very cooperative. I might even just actually just take him over, to be honest. Let's see what kind of diplomacy we have with, with him. So Cao Huan, where's where are you, Cao Huan? So we have military access and trade agreement. Yeah, I might just honestly, I might just end up um, attacking Tao Huan, just taking over his lands, because at this point, it's pretty much point. It's pretty pointless to have him right here. Okay, let's uh, go to the next next turn and uh, see what happens. Okay, so he hasn't actually attacked Yang Zhao yet. Which I'm, which then I have a turn to actually defend this. Some of these requesting we both declare war on Zhang Lu. Ah. Wu Zhen declare war on Fan Zhou. Ancillary gang, devious attendance, so plus two cunning. He already has something, so let's give it to uh, this chick. Nice, nice, nice. So, then against that. So, he's, he's definitely coming towards me. Um, get some. Replenish some and also defend against that area. And I think for him, we might actually have to attack here. I don't think we can siege it out more, or else we're going to have very, very. Get very close to this. Let's see what his garrison looks like in here. Pretty low. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. I'm gonna delegate this. Damn, still lost tons of people. The 1,000, that's a lot. 
And all my generals are really hurt as well. It's tough, man. It's tough. A treasure. Plus five. Friends. Sima Ye and Sima Bang. So the, he has Pinchin. Very weak army in Pinchin Temple, which I can ta easily take over because it's very hard to access this from anywhere else. And also Pinchin Farmland. Let's see. Getting replenishments here. Repair a bunch of stuff. So this is a temple and a farmland. So definitely want to go for food production. Um, okay, let's see what happens uh, next turn. I think for this one, we should be good. I can attack him right now, actually. Should I attack him? Let's see. Peasant bands, spear guards. Some archers, not too many. Two cavalry units, mostly. Yeah, I can definitely attack him. That shouldn't be a problem. I might actually go ahead and do that and just get this army out of the way before he joins up with this army. But he's gonna retreat. If he retreats, I'm not gonna be able, I'm not gonna be able to catch him. That's the only other problem is I won't be able to catch him. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Trade here, trade ancillary. You got any good ancillaries for me to trade? Nope, not really. Oh yeah, I need to get that. So this one is Warriors Reinforced Leather. Plus six resolve, plus six instincts, minus six expertise. No, trade marriage. Request regular payments. Four hundred, one oh five, one oh six. All right, let's get a trade agreement with this guy. <clears throat> See cooperation. Uh, military act, non-aggression pact. The fundo. Let's see if you're willing to uh, give me some gold. Alright, this is pretty good. Pretty good deal. Uh, 174, 177. Yeah, definitely making all of these deals gets your relationship up with these guys so they can actually vassalize them later on. Um, it's a pretty good strategy in terms of going about it this way. Right, let's get military access. Smart way. Okay, so I think I might actually go in and attack him for this one. But let's go ahead and do that. And he's definitely going to retreat, but let's hope we can actually catch up to him. Yeah. I won't be able to make that. It's okay. I'll move back a bit. He still get replenishment on here since I now I captured Pain Chain. <clears throat> okay. Um, so I think we can end this turn for now and then see what Samayue ends up doing. This is also Samayue's territory. Yeah, so he has pretty much all of the stuff here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have one more territory to capture. But I think at this point, I'm already I already reached the jurisdiction substantial. Um so yeah, I already did. You can tell just because my money went up a lot. Yep. So, yeah, so now I can have 12 territories. Definitely want to capture all of Sima U.S. territory. And then I think once I capture Sima U.S. territory, I'm going to go directly and start attacking the Jin Empire. Let's end our turn for now. Sima Yue is offering to assist us in a war against Sima Yue. I mean, why not? <laughs> I definitely want to try to take out this army, actually. I'm going to try to take out that army with my secondary army. Okay, Sima Ying joined war against... Alongside Sima Liang against Sima Yue. Alliance of Shang Yu Sand and Trees PD. Sima Yang. <clears throat> okay, question of character. You want to go to Okay, so let's see. What do we want to get here? 
Minus 10 satisfaction system odd zone. Definitely don't want that. I don't need might alignment either. Compassion is more important. Minus 10 with Zul one she 10 turns, but with some odd zone. Or I can get wealth alignment. So right now my wealth alignment is at 15, so I can get it to the next one. Tre treasury minus one. What the hell does that mean? Minus one dollar? The fuck? <laughs> Popular, but plus 15 prestige and plus 10 diplomatic status bonus. So this is for mind alignment. Which I only have five right now. So I'm actually I might go for the wealth alignment just so I can get to the next level. Yeah, let's let's do that. A treasury mine is one. What the the hell? Wealth alignment. Yeah, this is nice. And this is very, very nice. Okay. The buildings, Yan Zhao livestock farm, nice. But this one's upgraded pretty well. Character development, Chen Fu. Not that good. Why Thoroughbred? Nice. Simons. Question of character, character rank gain. Okay, so she gained a rank. I definitely want to aim for the tenacity of steel here. Don't really need this. Don't really need that either. Let's go for uh, melee vision. Yeah, this is going to be good. 42. Yeah, she's gonna be a very good duelist. I can already tell you that right now. Okay, so. Runan. Pain Chang. Definitely need more. So, 364. This one, it seems like. So, what does Temple do? Can't tell, but this one definitely has a lot of commerce income. Fusion Temple, commerce income, and then a little, little bit of the farm of uh, farming stuff from the farmland. So actually for this one, I might do. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with. Yeah, that's a tough choice. Want more income? Because right now the income is kind of useless. But the food production will be good because the income is so low, you know? So I'm just going to go with this, the food production. Um, This one is already a city. So he's, he's raising an army over here. He has another army over here. I'm getting replenished from this army here. Somebody's very angry here. I don't know why this dude is always angry, man. Like, you're already pretty high up, bro. He doesn't even have the trait where he's like ambitious or anything like that, but I don't know why his thing is just always so low. And hers is low too, which I also don't understand. I mean, I guess I understand for this. Alright. Sima Zong. I don't know what you guys want, guys. Alright, let's attack uh, Xue Jue. Hopefully he can stop running away. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to attack this guy. Please don't run. Yes. Nice. No run. Okay, so this this should be a pretty easy fight. We got he only has a couple of archers. Um two cavalry units, somewhat somewhat full. But we have pretty much everybody replenished with all tributaries and archers ready. So this shouldn't be this should be a pretty easy battle. Alright, everyone. Uh let's get into the battle with the Sima Yue army. Um, so they have a decent amount of archers here. So we definitely want to take that out as quickly as possible. A lot of melee infantry and uh, two cavalry units with one um, champion general. So I think with champion general, I'm going to challenge him with this girl and try to kill him off as quickly as possible. Um, so let's line up our units. Shield wall, guard. So let's definitely line them up here. Uh, and get our flank protection units line them up like like so uh, left flank protection units line them up like so all 
Okay. So archers. Group two. Line up right behind the front line infantry. Um, trebuchets. Group five. Flame, flaming shot. Guard mode. Line up right here. Let's lock my right flank with my general. Let's line you up right here. Um, left flank cavalry. Line you up here. My melee general. And then my strategist line you up back here. Okay, so let's get this battle started. Definitely kill the crossbowmen as quickly as possible. Let's watch some uh, trebuchet action against these archers. <laughs> Man, I love trebuchets. They're literally one of my favorite units in this game because they do so much damage. And it's so satisfying just watching that. Damn. Missed like a good, like 50% of it, but still does tons of damage. Has tons of morale problems. It's really an awesome weapon. Alright. The second volley coming through. Yeah, that was pretty weak. <laughs> it's okay. This should be routing pretty soon. Honestly, if we get really like one solid direct hit against this group, I'm pretty sure one of these archer units is going to route. All right, third volley coming through. Nope. Nice. Killed a good amount right there. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I'm aim for these guys. Solid hits, solid hits, solid hits. Actually, no, I'm aiming for these. Huh. I wonder where their um, champion general is. Excuse me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna aim for those. Might get my cavalry out as well. Start, start getting my cavalry out there. Get these cavalry units out here as well. Okay, so their cavalry sees my cavalry. I wonder if the cavalry is going to start charging my cavalry or not. But. So. Aim for here. Okay, yeah, they see me. So I'm going to charge their cavalry here, get these guys out, come behind for the archers. Cannot duel, doesn't want to duel, that's lame. Alright, pull you guys back. Do some cycle charging, so yeah, we have that general coming over here. Psycho charge their mounted saber militia. Alright, I'm gonna run you guys back. This is getting a bit too hairy over here at the moment. Uh, definitely not. So get my ch cavalry to start charging their cavalries, and hopefully do some good damage while my the rest of my army start attacking these guys. So a bunch of spear guards, G militia, hit the G militia. Oh, 
But that's routing, so let's go for the mounts to Saber Militias. Morale decrease. Hopefully can route these Saber Militias pretty easily here. Yep. Definitely routed. Alright, let's let's start charging some of these guys. But these spear guards are definitely taking tons of damage. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother with this champion. That saber militia this is a spear guard. It's definitely go for the spear guard. Let's see. Go kill the peasant ban. I'm gonna have you guys chase down this group. I'm gonna have you guys chase down that group. Charge those spear guards. Charge these peasant bands. Nice, nice, nice. That's in keep up the good work. Nope. Okay, so you guys, you guys fall back, and uh, we're gonna cycle charge some more. <laughs> you gonna do that? Might as well. <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> Trying to charge him and counter charge the shit out of you, bro. That's not gonna. That's never gonna work well for you. Nope. How many units are there? Five crossbowmen, 14. Right, two. Go aim for that one. I need to chase down and kind of kill some of these routing units off. Alright, so shit just finally charged into my armies, which is good. So I can kill him off. Not sure what these guys are doing. Far so you go try to catch these guys. Alright, let's see. How are you are you guys bracing the charge or what are you guys doing? Let's try to charge my uh cavalry into these units and try ho hopefully finish them off. And see what's gonna happen. Okay, so they are they're all routing now. Perfect, perfect. You go ahead and chase these guys down. You chase that one down. You guys kill. Actually, you go over here. You can chase, kill him. And then you can aim for this guy. Alright, let's fast forward. Nice, nice. This is a pretty good battle. Did some pretty good work on this one for sure. Didn't really lose too many units. My front line held off really well. My archers killed a lot of people. Um, my cavalry definitely did a lot of good work as well. So, awesome, awesome. That's the edge. Okay, that should be good. Ah, uh, that was definitely a good fight. One on one.
did some pretty good work. My cavalry did some pretty good work. They didn't really get too many kills. It was perfect. Damn, it's brutal. I just chopped his head off. <laughs> Alright. Captured what I want to do. Release? Nah, I'm an executor. So let's do the replenishment, actually. I like the replenishment. Character killed. Friends. Let's... Can we finish this off? No, we can't finish it off. It's okay. We don't need to finish it off. So next turn, I think we're definitely gonna go for Pain Chain. I mean, we can go for it right now, actually. Let me see what the garrison is. Uh, this is actually a pretty strong garrison. How's this? Actually, I might go for Pain Chain right now. With Somalia. Because he can definitely make it to Pain Chain. Yeah, we have a pretty... F I mean, it's decently full already. It's not too bad. It's definitely doable to hold, to attack this guy. Um, let's see. And he has this army, which is not too strong. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely doable for sure. Hmm. So some of you still has a pretty decent amount of territory. I do need to be careful though to not overextend too much or else it's gonna hurt a lot once some of you has a full army and start attacking back. Let's see where our diplomacy is at right now. So that's uh that's nice. So run run uh Ruan Shen is definitely going to go for Kwaji. Kwaji. So hopefully he takes that over. Um, so he won't have. So Simayo wouldn't have another army down there. His main, his main territory is going to be focused up here. So yeah. So let's. It's going to be a tough choice. Yeah. Let's let's go for Pain Chang. Fuck it. Whatever. It's going to be. It's, it is going to be hard. Actually, I'm, I'm going to replenish one more turn, and then we'll go. No, he's replenishing too. Let's actually siege it out. It's tough. It's definitely a tough choice, tough decision for sure. They have a lot of archers. Like tons of archers. But it's all regular archers, not crosswomen. Yeah, let's go for it. That's what the map view looks like to see if we want to fight this. Okay, so it's on regular land. So it's on regular land, which is good. Let's start them out, actually, for now. How's this military supplies looking? How's some of you military supplies? Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, so I think right now we're, we're pretty good for now. Alright, let's end this turn and see what's gonna happen, uh, see what Samaria does next turn. Okay, he's retreating that army. Up, oh, sallying out. Nice, nice, nice. This should be a pretty fun battle. Alright, so. Fighting against Samaria's army in Pencheng Temple. So we got reinforcements coming from the way back, so they're probably going to meet up with the reinforcements. Meaning that they're probably going to have the army start up somewhere around here. Or honestly, probably back there. So let's line up our troops correctly. Uh, most likely facing towards that particular direction like so. And get my uh, side defenders. This is the right direction. Okay, yeah, this is the right direction. Okay, so I get my side defenders to protect my flanks. Like so. Get my archers set up. Right behind the front lines. Got my trebuchet set up. Right behind the archers. 
probably right here so it's as close to the army is coming as possible um getting my cavalry commander with the right flank cavalry right flank uh hidden to the right side a left flank probably gonna hide him in these trees once i get the battle started so let's put him over here for now strategist right here and then sima leung somewhere right here okay so let's get this baby started yes yeah definitely gonna meet up so let's just fast forward this i should know that let me move my cavalry right here and then fast forward it Actually, I'm going to get these guys over here for some quick ambush as well as these guys over here. Yeah, this is this should be that should be a nice ambush location. So I don't have to come. I don't have to run my guys to get around. They were going to be around. Now it is waiting for the army to come towards me. should be interesting come on guys you got this whoa is that Jin Calvary captain what I didn't realize that was a thing interesting okay so they're coming closer definitely want to get in range I'm gonna have my trebuchets aim for the archers and take out as many archers as possible and then uh, for the Cal the Jin Calvary captain this is gonna be an interesting choice I might even need to have yeah, that's going to be interesting to take care of. So I might have Sima Liang duel Sima P. So I don't think this guy is very good at dueling. Let's see. Character cannot duel, doesn't want to duel. Well, that's lame. Okay, so the coming in. Aim for these guys. But let's watch some tribute action. So we got the Jin. He's got one cavalry on this side. Another cavalry. Which one is this? The Dao Sword Guard cavalry. So these are pretty decent cavalry, actually. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Alright, so pretty good so far. This is my archer line. So this is where the archer is going to start firing. Definitely, I don't want to aim for the GN cavalry captains or the other one just because they have shields. It's going to be pretty pointless. So I'm definitely trying to try, try to take out their archers as quickly as possible with mine. Okay, so you guys aim for this dude. You guys aim for this guy. And then you guys aim for this guy. Perfect, perfect. Nice, nice. All right, you guys go around. Go charge this group. These guys charge that group. And you charge here. Okay, 
So retreat, retreat. I need my cavalry all to retreat. All right, so you guys on my cavalry come to this side. Uh, we definitely need to charge this guy. These guys are doing a lot of damage. All right, Sima Leon's taking a lot of damage here. I might need to back him off a bit. Oh, what the hell just happened here? How the hell did the archers get over here? They were wrecking on my trebuchets, too. Alright, so you guys charge over here. Definitely need my need my guys back or else this is gonna be tough. Ooh, that's that hurts. Alright, you guys charge in the back of those spear guards, you guys charge in the back of these. Okay, charge all of you guys charging at this one. Definitely need to get one of these cavalry out of here. Okay, so one of my cavalry definitely is go aim for this guy. You guys, Imperial Infantry, attack this. One? What happened to my one army? Oh. Alright, now time to go uh, route everybody, who should be good here. Nice, nice, nice. Good job, good job. Nice, nice. That was a pretty good victory. So let's try to kill off as many of uh, these units as possible. With our cavalry. That was, a, that was a decently close one, to be honest. It's like, surprisingly, that was like a decently close fight. Sima P. Let's kill as many things as possible to see if we actually attack, get pain chain right away. Let's fast forward. Yep, the spirit guards are dying pretty fast. Nice. Alright, now let's go over here and cut down these guys. Yep, this was this was a, it was kind of messy, but it wasn't bad. So did a pretty good job. Made a couple mistakes. It's all right overall. All right, let's just finish these off so that we can uh, move on to the next part of the campaign. Hopefully by killing off all these guys, we have enough to take over Painchain right away instead of waiting for the next turn. 
But it turned it into attack. Nice. Yeah, my trebuchet doesn't really do too much work. My cavalry always does tons of work. Just, dude, look at my strategies with the 93 kills. <laughs> How did that even happen? Nice. Sima P. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm definitely executing you for that. 4% replenishment. Definitely go for the replenishment. Sima Mo is offering to assist us. We will receive him in Sima Mo. Yeah, might as well. Alright, Sima Wei signed a peace treaty with Zhang Lu. Sima Wei signed a cheese. Join the war. Friendship forming, dying, and Zhou Wanshi. Nice. When I get forest skin. Interesting. Diplomacy. The pain chain. Got a farm. They definitely upgrade that. Yeah, we should probably do that, actually. So, I think I'm gonna take over Pain Chain and just delegate this. Pretty easy, pretty easy. So, Dawn's actually owned by Sima Yao, so that's good. What is this gimme? Plus 10 satisfaction faction wide. Nice, plus five prestige. Awesome, very nice. I'm almost at the Grand Prince. Actually, not really almost. <laughs> like halfway, but still. Okay, Sima Ju with his plus 50%. Definitely assign it to Runa. So Runa has a pretty significant portion of peasantry income. Let's see. Awesome, awesome. This should get fully replenished pretty, pretty soon. So I think for for Pain Chang, I think I'm definitely going to upgrade this to a city. Should be able to easily afford that. Sima Jin. Nice. Pretty much everybody is either, you know, my uh, allies or my... <laughs> Vassals at this point, which is very very good For me for sure Let's see if there's anyone that wants to be Nope, it's my chin Military access Nope How much money will only give me for that military access not enough for sure, okay So I think that's a, a good stopping point for this episode. We definitely made a lot of progress in this episode. We're taking over uh, Painting City as well as uh, the Painting Temple. Um, we kill. We were able to actually defeat uh, Sima Yue's main army, which Sima Yue does so much damage. This guy is insane in combat. He killed at like a thousand one hundred units before he actually finally died with like ninety seven percent evasion. It's crazy, man. Anyway, so I think this is a good stopping point. Um, with that said, I thank you all very much for tuning in to watch this episode of the Somalian campaign on Legendary Difficulty for Total War Three Kingdoms, the Eight Princes DLC. So if you enjoy this episode and would like to support the channel going forward, please let me know in the comments below and feel free to hit that like icon, smash that subscribe button, and click on the notification bell to get the latest updates from my channel. I will be releasing uh, brand new episodes for the Total War Let's Play series every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So please tune in, check them out, and uh, let's conquer ancient China. Um, so if you're also in the mood for some live action gameplay and community fun, feel free to join me at, on Twitch at Sweezy underscore TTV or Mixer at Sweezy. So that's it for today. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.